So uh, since uh, the beginning, uh, more than uh, 20 years ago, the vision for Novos has been uh, to uh, help feed the world affordable, wholesome foods. And uh, we do that through uh, the development of science-based uh, solutions. Kaifa is an early stage biotech company that produces, uh, develops and ultimately will produce point of care diagnostics for monitoring inflammation, uh, particularly in autoimmune diseases and the intensive care or critical care environment. The Donald Danford Plant Science Center is a not-for-profit research center here in St. Louis. It's the largest independent plant science center in the world. We have as our general mission improving the con human condition through plant science. In Avengo about Energy, we are in the industrial biotechnology. Uh, we are a pioneer in the development and application on the, of industrial biotechnology for the production of biofuels. So Metabeacon is a medical device company. We founded in 2012. It's focused on uh, helping uh, develop systems to help physicians and give them critical information to treat their patients. What I would like people to know about Gallus is that we have striven and we are achieving creating a world-class CMO here in St. Louis. Well, Confluence Life Sciences is a drug research and development company. We were started three years ago. A number of ex-Pfizer colleagues got together um, and formed the company uh, to develop drugs for hard-to-treat cancers and for chronic inflammatory diseases and autoimmune diseases. The, the passion is in plant science, that plant science does offer, and plants as a, a system, truly offers a sustainable answer to challenges that we face now. And it's so important that we continue to carry out plant science, and it would be wonderful for the region to have this innovation come from St. Louis. Metabeacon has really innovative technology. We call it breakthrough technology because we do something that someone else doesn't currently do and it's patented. So we think it's just a great opportunity to make our mark to help patients. We want that to be our legacy. Uh, we have been able to develop a technology uh, to convert agricultural residues into sugars. And we use these sugars uh, through fermentation uh, for the production of ethanol. The things that St. Louis has been trying to do and has really um, put themselves on the map for and bioscience as much as any other field in the entrepreneurial space uh, is really where it's happening right now in St. Louis, so we're glad to be a part of it. And uh, we work together with the um, agriculture producers to develop uh, solutions that are sustainable and that they allow them to meet their uh, production uh, goals. An example of innovation at Gallus is that we've taken a new technology to our industry, the use of disposable technology, and we built out a suite dedicated to its use. And there's great things to come, the whole Cortex effort between Washington University and St. Louis University. There's a growing uh, family of companies being supported by Biogenerator and other organizations. Uh, there's many new companies being formed and it's going to really explode over the next several years as far as the life sciences and biosciences here in the St. Louis area.